My dudes, what's going on? Your boy Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Pokemon Showdown. Hopefully by the time you see this video, well actually, no, I'm doing that crazy ass seven a day thing. So you're, but I was going to say that the Wi-Fi battles should be ready. I'm actually in the process of converting all of the teams that I've made so far into Wi-Fi battle, well, into the game itself. So this way, you know, you guys can start seeing battles on that front. You dudes have been complaining. Yo, what's up with all the showdown? Where are the actual Wi-Fi battles? Where's the other content on the channel? I've been perfecting the showdown formula to ensure that, you know, I have something to put out there, but I've also been perfecting my formula for everything else at the same time. Like, if you if you notice, the channel's becoming a lot more uniform, intros and whatnot. I've been, I've been spending this time perfecting my craft, and it is about ready to blow up. This channel is going to be where you want to be when the summertime hits. Trust me on that. Anyways, we're going to do us another OU battle, and let's actually use this, um, this little interesting team that I've had. The little team that could, with the Del Fox and all that other shit. Victini, I know it's enough. Hey. Anyway, so um, now we're looking at this squadron here. Um, if I lead out with Zoark with Hidden Tower Ice, it'll really help against all these guys, except for the, except for the um, the uh, Keldeo. You know what I realized? That Dark type moves really kind of are almost unstoppable this generation. You know, Dark type moves really can run a train if you get the resistances away. But, um, yeah, I'm really liking the idea of Zoark right now, but then again, that Heat Ran, man. That, that Heat Ran. I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Um, let's just go into Swampert for now, because it'll be able to stop the Heat Ran or the Landers. Whoever comes, oh man, oh, okay, he predicted that shit. Alright, let's go into Gorgeist to be able to slow down this Berloom. Berloom usually never have anything to hit Gorgeist with. Nothing at all, and plus he can't spore Gorgeist, so you know, this is gonna work really well. Plus, we can hit this guy with the Will-O-Wisp. He can sword dance all he wants, but Gorgeist will be able to take the hits. It's kind of obvious, but hey. It's the safest play, and all he can do is just go maybe into one of his fire Pokemon, and then we just switch out into something appropriate, so no big deal. Right, right now, I'm not risking using Swamp into this guy. I'm not, I'm not that ballsy to risk. Oh, it's kind of obvious that I'll switch, so why not just stay in and go with the Stealth Ox on the Balloon? Hell no, this thing's gonna fucking bullet seed the Swampert to death. There's no way I can deal with that. Especially considering I'm not even physically defensive, especially defensive Swampert. It's gonna go for the Mock Punch. No big deal whatsoever. If we go for that Will O Wisp, it's pretty damn obvious who's coming in. Talent Flame, Heat Ran, Heat Ran especially. So you know what? Man, I'm starting to think a little too much. You know why I'm starting to think a little too much? Because I'm thinking that maybe he thinks that it's too obvious for me to go for Swampert now, thinking that he's gonna be threatened out by the Will-O-Wisp by Gorgeist, so he's gonna think that that's going to happen, and I'm gonna go into my Swampert, but he's gonna think that that's probably gonna happen and just go in for the Bullet Seed instead. I'm thinking way too much. I'm thinking way fucking too much, but you know what? The safest play here is to go for the Leech Seed. At least this way we'll be able to you know, leech the heat ran, and we'll be able to see what this nigga wants to do. But now we can go into Swampert, get our rocks up safely, and we're specially defensive. Which, specially defensive Swampert with special attacking moves works really nicely. Max HP, max special defense with um, Hydro Pump. I was going to throw Earth Power on him as well, too. Sometimes Heat Ran come out there with the balloon instead of just leftovers. So, I mean, it kind of didn't seem too effective. To I, I, I don't know. I mean, may may maybe the Earthquake would be better. But I like the Hydro Pump just for that raw damage. You know what I mean? Um, so now, now the Heat Ran's kind of in a good position with the um, Leech Seed. Let's go for this Stealthy and just ensure that, you know, we'll be able to get our own up. It sucks that we got them up on our side, but those are the bricks. Those are, those are the bricks. Alright, so now here comes the Berloom again. We'll be able to eat those up, man. Let me, let me get those. Okay, the Bullet Seed is no problem at all, man. Not a problem. The Will-O-Wisp. Once again, I'm playing really, really predictable here, dude. I'm playing extremely predictable. Okay, okay. Why do balloons have rock tomb? I don't get it. I've seen other balloons with rock tomb as well. So what? Now you're gonna go into heat ran? Now you're gonna go into heat ran? Oh no, he stays in again. Holy shit! This is a mind game. It's a mind game now. Holy shit! This is bad. <laughs> now I'm gonna think too much. Oh man, this isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't good. Will-O-Wisp! <laughs> okay, okay, finally we got this thing, Will-O-Wisp. This is great, so now we'll be able to stall him out somewhat, you know? Okay, Jesus Christ, I was about to say, man, this dude is playing with my brain, man. 
this dude was playing with my brain. I don't like it when that happens. When you, they do, they predict the prediction that you're gonna predict from them and they act accordingly. That bothers me, man. I don't like it. I don't like, that's the shit I don't like. Oh man, um, okay, we can probably go into Delphox at this point. Absorb whatever he wants to do, because you know our typing is really good for that. He's gonna go into Heat Man. This is okay, this is okay. Well, I don't know, no, no, is this okay? I don't know if this is okay. I'm, I'm a little unsure if this is okay. You know what, no, this is not okay. Let's go into Swampert. This is, the safest play is to go into Swampert, especially defensive, you can take anything. Balloon's probably gonna come in, but hey. Yeah, yeah, there's no way, I didn't want- Oh, they got the defense drop, why? The special, why? Now I'm not gonna be able to stay in there twice. I'm not gonna be able to stay in there with this. What the fuck? But you know what? Maybe this is good. Go for another one. Oh, Lando, get get hit with that motherfucking hydro pump. Why? Swampert! Why the fuck do you do this to me, Swampert? What the hell? Oh, man, this is not good. Alright, we, we're gonna have to... We are going to have... It's probably gonna go for the for the U-turn. Probably gonna go for that U-E. Let's go for the Toxic. At least we'll be able to... um. Poison the Keldeo if he decides to come in. Yeah, okay, so at least Keldeo gets toxic. That's good. That's enough to make me smile. But the fact that we have a special defense drop, we ain't gonna be able to take jack shit from this Keldeo. And we have nothing that wants to switch in on a Hydro Pump right now. Cause Swampert is the switch for the Hydro Pump. That's why I'm like infuriated at the moment. Go for the roar. Normally Swampert would be able to take everything that this guy Oh man, come on, look at that. Look at that. This is ridiculous. What can we do here? We can go into Gore, guys. I mean, you're not especially defensive, but you have the typing to handle. But you have the typing for this. He's a choice spec set. This is why I love Gore Guys as well. The fact that it has the frisk ability, come in, fill you up. Oh, what you got? You got choice specs? Oh, word? All right, cool. Bet. This is good. So now we can go for maybe the Leech Seed. It's gonna go into Heat Ram, it's fine. With this Leech Seed and the Life Orb, I mean with the Leech Seed and the Leftovers, we'll be able to heal up quite a bit. Let's go for that Protect. It's gonna go for the Lava Plume, it's okay. That's okay, I can do. Give me that fucking, give me that fucking health, man. And now he's got, you know what, let's go into Tyrantrum now. Please don't get burned, please, please don't get burned. If he gets burned, Earth Power. Fuck. I totally forgot about Earth Power. He saw that coming. I'll give you that. That was a damn good move. Uh, that, that was a damn good move. I'll give you that one. Um, oh, man. Heat Ram, what do you want to do with me, man? What do you want to do? We can go to Agron. Agron will be able to take what this guy wants to do. And we don't have to go Mega necessarily because we'll be able to... Yeah, we don't have to go Mega here. Although Lando might just come in. Yeah, the Lando is pretty obvious. But, um, yeah, he has no reason to stay in here. Absolutely none. So, you know what? We might just be better off going, going straight for the curse. Alright, good. Okay, so now we got some defense up. Um, let's go for the curse once more. Even though I know it's kind of foolish to stay in there on Lando, but at least we'll have the Mega Evolution under our belt. It's gonna go for the earthquake. Ooh, the filter! The filter! You can't mess with the filter, man. That shit, I take hits. I take hits. Okay, um. Let's go for. Let's go for the. The Iron Head. Then again, the Heat Ran's probably gonna come in now. He's probably thinking, oh shit, this thing is a problem. Well, now. Looks like I only have one other option. Maybe going to Heat Ran. He's gonna U turn. Is he gonna go into Heat Ram? Oh, Balloon. Shit. Well, that's not too bad. Okay. Let's go for... Let's just go for the Iron Head. He's gonna Rock Tomb us. Why, do, why, why did he Rock Tomb us? I don't understand it. But um, this is great. Balloon's down now, at least. So that's us having down to his two. He's gonna go into Keldeo now. This is not a problem because we have a lot of special defense. But then again, he's choice specs. He's choice specs, man. I don't like this. Yeah, he's choice specs. Fuck it. 
He's gonna go for the Surf, it's fine. Um, we can stall him out with that Toxic a little bit more. I can stall him out a little bit with that Toxic. Mm. Nothing else wants to come in on the Choice Spec Surf, man. Nothing at all. So you know what, we, our best option here is to probably just go for the Triple Protect. Yes, we got it. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, no, that was a double protect. Excuse me, I said triple. Um, now we can hit him with the shadow sneak. It'll do a lot of damage. It'll do enough damage to where the toxic will finish him the next turn. Great, that extra protect helped us there. Sometimes I don't like using protect, but it can help in a lot of scenarios, man. It really can. Now we have Agron, and uh, Agron just might be the best. Agron might just be the best option. Here. Yeah, Agron just might be the best. Option. Maybe Delphox. Maybe Delphox. Yeah, maybe Delphox. It's probably gonna come in there with Talonflame. Then again, Talonflame can't really be threatened out by Delphox. Um, let's go for this straight up Fire Blast. Boom. Goodbye, Mega Pinsir. Okay. That was good. At least that thing is dead. I wonder what item his Lando has. And did I ever get to see what it has? I don't think I ever got to see what Lando has. Uh, I'm, I'm a little threatened by that. I'm worried about that. I just need to make sure the mic was on. I'm threatened because, you know, I don't want this Lando to be Scarf and then I get fucked up the ass. Hmm. So sick. He used Earth Power. This thing is a special Landorus, which means that we'll probably be able to take whatever he wants to do and then retaliate with the Fire Blast, no problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably be good in there if he decides to go in, because he doesn't have physical moves. He had Earth Power. Um, he's going to go into Talonflame, okay. Oh boy. Okay, let's just go straight up for the... Let's just go straight up for the Side Shock. He's going to go for the Flare Blitz. Oh, I'll, maybe he predicted us to switch. We did not switch there. Talonflame is gone. Whew. This is a crazy game now, man. These are the kinds of games that I told you... These are the kinds of games that happen in truly competitive environments. Everything in the bottom is all kind of like, you know, who's a little bit more skilled with how to make plays in the game. But when you get higher up the ranking, it becomes a matter of who's going to overpredict, who's going to underpredict, who's going to do the right. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, man. All right, so our ranking has gone up to um, 1590. We lost a few games before, but we're back up. You know, I'm using this team rather than the other team because I really want to get good with this team. That was kind of a crazy game. Uh, more people are in the chat. <laughs> Snap. Okay. Resort. Thanks, man. Oh, man. But yeah, um, it, it, it's really crazy because once those predictions start, those, those predictions where it's like, you know, is he going to think that I'm going to do that so I'm going to have to do something else in order to know that he's not going to be able to predict me with that? Like, that's when the game gets extremely uncomfortable for me. I don't like it when the game becomes like that. I don't like it at all because now it's like, oh shit, what do I do? You know what I mean? Crazy game. Crazy. 